Hello, hello again, and welcome back to the uh, second part of uh, Regrease or Reloop, the Nikon Nikko 105mm 2.5. And I will do it with the Great 10 uh, Grease. So let's go ahead. And uh, I've just been cleaning the helicoids so it looks uh, I mean pretty okay I mean for me it's fine and uh, I think it will be pretty good when it's done so uh, let's head into it and do some re loop um, and I think I will just begin with the the inner helicoid. No, I mean the outer helicoid. And uh, I'll just do it with the grade 10. This is a very soft helicoid grease. So, so everything is in place. So uh, we can just begin. I will just begin to put out some some grease here. Did not necessarily use very much. So but of course it has to go into the thread on both the On both uh, helicoids. <clears throat> so for that, and where is my mark? Well, it's here. As I my notch, and uh, with the inner, I mean the outer helicoid, it will be that. I actually wrote out and put the arrow on and let's see how it will work and there 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 yeah and just to some movement it's really good there's maybe a little too much on so uh, just draw it a little away so there is as less as possible so Let's see how it will work. The notch here and the mark where the helicoid gets off and you just set click and turn it one I mean three quarter turn. Just put this on so you know exactly what I mean. Put it over here. So Now, <clears throat> and it comes there. And with the multiple uh, starting points, just make a measure, just to be sure. And it should be something like 45 millimeter, which we have here. There. When is it's on infinity so I'm on the right track now the uh, the uh, inner helicoids come off come on <laughs> and uh, just loop this
so I think it will work pretty good also on the the end here Should maybe have a wider brush, but uh, for this, I think it will be okay. Now, the notches here, which is my my point reference point, and uh, where this this helicoid comes off, I also set a mark and actually wrote in, which means the inner helicoids. So I will just put it on and let's see if I can thread pass uh, fit the find the thread and we will be there. And one turn and um, let's just give some movement. It's really soft and but it will be a quarter. Not three quarter, but one quarter, and it, it comes in, and it goes one quarter to the uh, point here, which is my my groove here, and it will go one full revolution until there. So this is actually where I begin. I will of course move the inner helicoid to get the um, to get the small pin here into here. But for now, it it should be something like that, where it is correct. So I can just hold the uh, the outer helicoid. And move this just a, I mean, just a quarter. It will be more than enough. And then flip it over, and then put in the the small pin here. So by using the tweezer, I can just put it in as it should be there. And uh, it doesn't really matter. It will be, it will be the correct point where it sits correct. So just put two fingers on here, and then move the uh, inner helicoid so it's there. And then you have the two holes there and there. And then you can just slide this in to place where it should be. Now, <clears throat> right now I have full control over the movement of the uh, of the helicoid. I mean, it will be even much more better. When I put in the two screws that hold the pin here, just gently screw them in. So it should be something like that. Yeah. And then the second screw goes in here. So, and then it's nice and soft in the, I mean, it's really not a problem. I can just use my one finger to move it. 
much better than the other one. I mean, before. And, uh, am I correct? Yeah. We just do a, a measure of how long is it when it's at infinity here. So let's see how it, it will do. So there we are. I mean, that's, that's actually good. So I get the wrong, I mean, <laughs> I get the right groove, which is good. And see, nothing can move because as everything is locked by the pin here. Now, so then we can continue with the, uh, the lens the focus uh, assemble and let's get the uh, the two stops in each end one can just uh, set it to something like there and then put in the the two uh, parts here don't, I don't know the name of it, but uh, I guess they have a name. Load one screw on the screwdriver and then put in this part here. It can only sit one way. I mean, there's no, it's not possible for them to you to move. So it will, it will sit correct. And gently tighten it and then the next one which will be over here and as a uh, reference I have a mark here and I also have a mark on the um, the inner helicoid, so I know exactly where this sit when it's correct. So it cannot go wrong. I mean, the only thing that can go wrong is when you um, when the helicoids get the wrong thread. So now you see. My um, my focus helicoids is actually working pretty good. Wow, feels like butter, <laughs> buttery. Hmm. Yeah. So now the uh, tube here can go in. It can only sit one way. So I will just put it over here. And uh, hey, one thing. Just to be sure, I actually get the wrong. I mean, uh, get the right uh, place where things sit correct. I uh, set a mark here before I took it apart, and you see, it will end here, and my uh, point here is correct. So that's really good. And then the um, this ring can go in with the three screws. It can only sit one way. I mean, it could maybe it could sit wrong, but uh, I don't think. Let's see. No, I mean you can set it wrong, but so therefore this is the point where everything starts. And also this meter. So the screws, where do I have them? Here. Uh, 
and the last one. So, now we are there. And then the uh, focus ring I can just put in. And maybe you remember in the first part I set two grooves, I mean two marks, one there and one there. I have my distance uh, point over here, but uh, this is only because I want to be sure the focus ring sits correct when it's on. So therefore if I put the focus ring on here, the two marks will actually be there and there. So therefore the ring can only sit one way. And you probably can see, yeah, I would guess so. So it goes in there. And since I have a mark on each side, I know it's correct just have to adjust it there. One can just hold on the pin here and then move the the focus ring, the outer focus ring. So now I know exactly where there is mark there and there. So there isn't any problem. So when I screw this in, the infinity, the infinity mark would be in the middle of the, the um, let's see if it, see, it's actually in the middle. As it should. <laughs> So, there the um, the small pin here for the aperture here will be screwed in. So as you can see, it's not that hard to work with this lens. It could be it could be much more difficult. Then gently tighten it. The small spring. Can you remember if it sits that way or the other way? Hmm. Since I have a mark here, I know exactly where it sits. So there's no problem. Just load the screwdriver first. And... Uh, Put in the small leaf spring here, so it sits there, and then screw it in. And it can only sit in one place. So now I actually have a really, really good working focus here. And everything is correct. Now, uh, let's see, I can put the aperture ring on and see the uh, the groove 
for the little pin this notch here will go in the pin here it can be difficult to catch one have to to lift up the uh, the aperture ring a little and of course one can just hold the the inside here and get the the aperture ring on so just move the no it's not yet okay let's see I think it's better to put it all the way over here it will be something aperture is 32 and I would guess it would be no <laughs> Why is that? I mean, it should be possible. So, and there. So, and the uh, the mount will come on, and uh, to get the. Uh, get it correct it will uh, sit like something like uh, huh? where did it go yeah it will just sit something like that here So there are six holes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, better try again. Filthy, isn't it? Yes. Something like 2.5. So, and then now this is where it is. And the um, distance mark is there. And this one will go in here. Let's we'll see. Spring there. This one goes all the way like just put it on. Let's see how it will fit. This one can just be moved over there. This will be set to therm 32. And then I can just put in the screws. Well, I could use some thread lock. Uh, but, well, I could use the uh, <coughs> 243 or the 222. But for now, <coughs> it's not really um, I didn't use it. But gently tighten the screws. Uh, 
then I will put on the uh, the spring the small spring in there because it's much easier than if this tube was not out it's really difficult but this way is much easier to do so now this uh, pin can be moved and uh, therefore it's just much easier to sit as close as possible and just put this on without any tension I mean should be something like easy there no okay put it on and then move the to your mind something like that so and then put a finger inside here so you get hold of where it should sit and it should sit across the street no, <laughs> not across the street but on the opposite side of the locking notch well language is a funny thing so it be sit like there And then I can just add my my lock screw, which has to sit a quarter from the um, from the lock notch. So it has to sit there. And it's the only place where it can sit. I mean, yeah, you can sit it in different screw holes, but it's, on, it's the only place where it will work perfect. So we're almost there. So, now the... Uh, wow. It works pretty good. Now it's time to put in the uh, the lens assembly. And uh, remember to set it on 32. Important. On the lens assembly, this pin has to set there when it's 32. And the other one, there's no problem with that. So. Uh, for make it easier to put the lens assembly in I just put a mark up here here because there's something in the middle of the fork here so therefore it will be easier because you, you cannot see the fork in here so when I put in the lens assembly um, I can see where the pin is going. And it will go something like there. And then it's in. And then I can move the aperture ring. And I can also move the aperture connection to the camera. Now the only thing I need to do is put the front ring on. You see this screw um, is also a, uh, a kind of adjustable for the aperture as I see it. Now the front ring comes on again and since the uh, the hole here is way too bigger than it should be and I miss the screw I mean the screw cannot get in here because the hole is 
the thread is here is damaged but it doesn't matter for me so just tighten it and uh, put in the the front ring on the uh, on the focus ring you can add some uh, thread lock but I mean it's not really necessary but just tighten it put it on the rubber ring and uh, be something like that and of course the cap on the back and then the nameplate find the thread just click there then put it in and tighten the the nameplate and there we're done so this old fellow is now have a great focus this is pretty good so um, and the aperture is working great wow just like a new lens so uh, if you enjoy, enjoy the content uh, please subscribe uh, there will be much more film when I have time and uh, yeah see you bye bye